Good morning. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is Pastor Phil Lewis with your morning meditation. This morning, I want to talk about cross-trained, being cross-trained. Uh, Paul tells Timothy in um, 2 Timothy 4 and 2, he says this, he says, proclaim the message, uh, be persistent, whether the time is favorable or unfavorable, convince, rebuke, and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching. The Message Bible says it like this, so proclaim the message with intensity. Keep on your watch, challenge, warn, and urge your people. Don't ever quit. Just keep it simple. Now, this text is not only uh, talking to pastors, clergy, but it's talking to all of us who are disciples of Christ. It calls us as disciples to do the work of the gospel ministry by training others in the way of the cross of Jesus Christ. We are called to be ambassadors and advocates of the kingdom of God. We are called to proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, that the kingdom of God is available and, uh, and all you have to do is enter in, enter in. Um, we must be, uh, if we are disciples, we must be cross-trained. Um, and when I say cross-trained, we must be trained in the way of dying to ourselves and being raised and walking in newness of life. And we, as Paul says, we die daily. We have to die to different things daily. Um, in the military, special forces units are cross-trained to engage in warfare on land, on water, and in the air. Companies train their employees to be cross-trained in more than one role of skill so that they will be able to work in a varied number of jobs. Cross-training in fitness will enable one to be strong and aerobically fit, cardio fit. But when we are cross-trained by Jesus, when our faith has been built up by hearing the uncompromised word of God, we can stand strong against Satan, the world, and our flesh. We must go through the rigorous training of the cross so we can be strong just as Jesus was strong when he hung out on Calvary's cross justifying us from sin. When he hung out, he here's the thing, the kingdom of God in that manner means he was obedient even unto death on the cross. So we are cross-trained. So at the end of our earthly lives, we can say, I fought a good fight. To fight a good fight is to lose in an earthly way without surrendering. It is to go through our earth existence without losing our joy, our faith, or our hope. It is to be mistreated and misunderstood and yet understand that God is always with us. A good fight is to not allow hatred in your heart. A good fight is to keep the faith despite anything that may come against you. A good fight is to reflect Christ consistently and persistently in everything that we do. Cross training. Be trained in the cross because we have to die to our flesh daily. We have to die to the world daily. And we have to live unto Christ. God bless you. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for your cross training, for your example, O oh Lord, of being able to obey God so that you went to the cross. You obeyed even unto the death, death on the cross. Lord, teach us to die daily. Teach us, O oh God, to live uh, your life. Lord, teach us to allow you to live your life through us. We will be careful to give you praise, glory, and honor, not just with our mouths, but most especially with our lives, our behavior, our nature, and character, your nature, 
and character. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, we pray in accordance with his nature and character. We say together, amen, amen, amen. God bless you. I see you all out there this morning. It's a lovely day this morning. Let us go with this blessing. Good to see you, Dr. Travis, uh, up there in Oakland. God bless you. Uh, I want you all to know that Yeshua sh uh, shines and showers his blessings upon you every day, every minute, every second of the day. And I love you, but God loves you infinitely more. Be blessed today. Go with God.